At this Christmas time, I thought I'd say a few words to you all to uh, wish you a happy Christmas. When I was younger, my mom would get our presents, wrap them up very nicely and hide them under uh, their bedroom, uh, under the uh, bed. And um, I found her doing that one time. She didn't know I saw her. And when she went out shopping, I went uh, up and pulled the packages out from under the bed and saw the ones with my name on it. And I, uh, I opened them up to see what was in them because uh, uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of surprises. And the problem with me is I can't wait to see the surprise if I can get it sooner. And so that's what I did. And I tried to wrap the packages back neatly the way they were wrapped before. And uh, I didn't do a good job. So my mother realized that I had done that. So she traded, um, she traded the gifts with her next door neighbor. And they made a deal that sh she would give her our gifts to hide and my mother would hide her children's gifts. The problem is her children's gifts were for girls. She had five girls and one boy. And so when I went up another time to uh, look f at the gifts and open them, I opened the, the first one, it was a Barbie doll. <laughs> and that's not for me, I'm sure. And uh, the, another one was some kind of a, uh, a dress for like a Cinderella doll. I said, that's not for me either. And then I caught on that my mother tricked me. And so uh, I, I, I messed up a lot with that surprise. Um, I, I've always been uh, fond of surprises, uh, uh, especially good ones, of course. And uh, teaching school for many years, I found a lot of surprises. Every day I walked into the classroom, there was always some kind of a surprise with one of the students. And so I enjoyed that, I really did. But the biggest surprise for me ever was when I was receiving my first Holy Communion and the sisters who trained us and formed us told us that we were going to be receiving the actual body and blood of Jesus. <clears throat> and so um, I looked at her as in disbelief because I couldn't understand how uh, Jesus could be fully present in a little piece of bread and a, a little bit of wine. And so I asked her uh, about it. And she said, Michael, she said, when you get older, you'll understand it better. So for right now, just enjoy the surprise that Jesus will come to you every time you receive him in that little white host and that little bit of wine. And so I believed her and I still believe now even more so in, in the fact that Jesus is present in, in the sacrament of the Eucharist. Now, the big surprise is not that he can do that because he's God, but that we benefit from that presence when we receive Holy Communion. And so uh, what I'm trying to say is that if we, if we can really appreciate the real presence of Jesus in the Holy Communion and appreciate also his uh, presence with us uh, when he was born into our life in this world, uh, we're going to grow closer to him and to our God, our Father and the Holy Spirit. And truly it's time for us, all of us to make Christmas the surprise that it really is supposed to be. And that is that Jesus would love us that much to give himself to us uh, during uh, our life here on earth. So my dear friends, when you come to mass for Christmas and every Sunday, hopefully, uh, you will enjoy a surprise. And the surprise will always be where God will speak to us in a special way because he loves us so much. And because of the Eucharist, we will have wonderful surprises in our lifetime. So God bless you all and your families. I hope you have a great and wonderful, joy-filled Christmas day, but also that you bring that joy into your life each and every day, not just on the one day, and that surprise someone with your, with your faith, surprise someone with your belief in Jesus Christ. And so God bless you all. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen.